Today's lesson is in transistors. Transistor is made up of three doped regions, generally uh, a negative region called the collector, positive region called a base, and a negative region called an emitter. Uh, there are other transistors that are made up of P and P, positive and negative positive. The uh, one region is called the collector. It is medium doped. It's the largest of the three section. It's called the collector because it collects the electrons from the base, actually most of them. The next one is the base, which is a thin um, positive region. It is lightly doped. And then we have an, a region called an emitter, which is negatively doped, and it's heavily doped. In a circuit, um, you'll notice actually that this uh, is a diode. Let's see. For these two regions and a diode for these two. So we have back-to-back -back diode here. Uh, now, question is, is, how does this help us out? Let's uh, put this in a circuit and find out. A typical circuit for a transistor would be the collector connected to a source and a base connected to a source and the emitter is connected to the ground this is typical of one type of diode circuit uh, if we have a bias on the base a um, DC bias voltage on the base here, on the base here, um, we will have electron flow, and guess what, it's electron flow to the rescue again. Uh, electron flow uh, enters the emitter, goes through the P region, since it's lightly doped and it's very thin, the electrons entering it have a large lifetime, and they can actually scare across the uh, p-doped base that's when there's a bias on it um, to the collector which ends up in the positive terminal of the battery or the source next thing we need to talk about is the symbol for a transistor this is the symbol for an NPN transistor. This is the base, the collector, and the emitter. Current enters electron flow. Electrons enter the emitter. Uh, depending on what the base bias is, they go through the base and into the collector and from the collector they go to the positive terminal of the battery um, normally there's some current limiting here so we put in our C we have current limiting here we have our B so this is the circuit that we had right here except we're using the uh, diagrams to create them voltage collector to emitter and you notice these are capital letters for DC remember we had small for AC, but we're just dealing with DC right now. So 
voltage collector to emitter is from here to here or from here here to here collector it says collector to emitter so if this is positive this is negative we should get a positive voltage out if we had said voltage emitter to collector we'd get a negative voltage because the black wire would be hooked here and the red wire would be hooked here and that would give us a negative voltage so we have voltage base to emitter from here to here let's see let's get a black pen out of here note direction of the arrow is direction is conventional current and this is an npn transistor a lot of times they use the term the uh, designator q for the transistor for a pnp transistor let's direction of the arrow is a little different this is p and p transistor uh, current flow would be this way and the base on this current flow would be this way the current flow on the npn is this way as well okay um, 